sorry. After the announcement of a standalone Venom movie, Sony looked to combine two of their most popular franchises into one giant event movie. According to a report from Variety, Sony will cross over their 21 Jump Street franchise with their Men in Black franchise, tapping the Muppets director James Bobbin to take the helm. Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum will reprise their Jump Street roles with production targeting a start date in June. The report, however, mentions that Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones will not be appearing in the movie, with insiders speculating that the crossover will serve as a reboot to the franchise with an opportunity to cast two young up-and-comers as the new Men in Black. Roka Byers sell a Men in Black 21 Jump Street crossover. Okay, this is an interesting position for me to be in because when it was first announced through in the Sony email hack or rumored or whatever, I was excited. I thought it was a ballsy thing to do to take two existing franchises and try to combine them. That's that's almost never done, uh, and so it would have been interesting to see how they play this out. I'm excited because I love the I love the 21 Jump Street uh, franchise. I, I'm so surprised at how funny and inventive those guys have been. The writing has been from Lord and Miller and the direction. Obviously, they seem to they seem to understand how to make this. This, this franchise work and make it funnier. My only trepidation, my only worry is the fact that we're not going to have uh, Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith coming back. Once again, Will Smith not returning to another uh, property that he, like Independence Day, that he was a big part of. And so that's kind of a little bit of a downer. So I'm buying it for now because if they cast it correctly with some young up-and-comers, I'm still enough excited, but I have a lot of worry that uh, they'll cast the wrong up-and-comers, and without even a cameo from Will Smith or Tommy Lee, it kind of takes a little bit of the magic away from me. Yeah, I, I was tossing and turning about whether to buy or sell this thing all night long, and the decision I arrived at is that I can buy it for now simply because I'm going to look at the worst-case scenario. Like, the worst-case scenario, right, Men, Men in Black 3, if, if you liked it out there... Uh, Congratulations. Mm -hmm. I hated mm -hmm. Men in Black. Wow. Three. I thought it was the death of a franchise, as particularly with somebody as great as Will Smith and somebody as talented as Tommy Lee Jones. To see all that great chemistry that was in the first movie just come all crashing down into nothingness at the end of that film really bummed me out. And I'm like, okay, well, no more Men in Black. 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street, those movies are hysterical, mm -hmm. but where do you go from there? Do you just keep making more of the same thing, or do you take a chance and cross it over with aliens and all this stuff? Because that worst case scenario is that in the next movie, if this one bombs the next standalone 24 Jump Street yeah. movie, you just make fun of the fact that you completely ruined a franchise mm -hmm. when you can just come back and just Deadpool it, just make fun of what you did before. So there isn't really that big of a downside. You could make a horrible movie, but the upside is that you can have a new Men in Black franchise. Clearly, Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith want nothing to do with this thing anymore, and you can't really blame them. So if you reboot that, that's such a rich storyline. It's got so much potential where you have these guys investigating all these weird alien things going on. And if you recruit the gang, Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill from 21 Jump Street, it sounds like it could be hilarious. It sounds weird. And I'm not ready to buy tickets opening weekend, but I do think it's intriguing enough to where I can give it a buy today. How about you? Yeah, you know, I'm in the same camp as you a little flip though like i absolutely hated men in black three mm -hmm. it's a really a bad film it's a horrible movie. God, I, I, okay. um <laughs> sorry roca i love uh, garbage is garbage two you know, was like, bad they, 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 they were, i like three a lot they literally oh, like sleepwalking through like. the role even when they were on those little roundy yeah. roll things of like what? will smith was like i guess i'm on a green screen is none of it felt like they gave a fuck you didn't but, like the uh, denouement at the end with the, nothing the, the, yeah he no. was taking care of, of the concourse the dude they wasted him anyway um but I love 21 Jump Street and I love 22 Jump Street. I think that franchise is so refreshing and fun and new. And what they did with a TV show, the concept and the premise yeah. of a TV show, and to have these two guys, Jonah Hill and uh, Channing Tatum, in it. Channing Tatum is hilarious. Jonah Hill's funny. Those guys, both of those films are great. And when I first heard that I read those Sony hacks, just like everybody yeah. else, I was like, what kind of crack are they smoking? What is wrong with people? <laughs> Three's Company and Dallas. I was like, I started thinking of a whole bunch of weird ways to, what, like Six Million Dollar Man and The Fall Guy. Lee Majors oh, fighting himself. I mean, oh. there were so many. I just started thinking of like a, a F Troop one. and Gilligan's Island again, again. Just come up with a million different weird variations. But then the more I thought about it, I started to warm up to the fact that, look, you're absolutely right. 23 Jump Street, I'm going to see. They already get, they have my money. I don't even care what it is. Even if they were like, it's the worst, strangest failure of all. I'm still seeing it. 
because based on the popularity and the premise and the fun that I had from those first two, I'm giving the third one a chance just because I like mm -hmm. those first two. I'm like, maybe they're trying. Maybe no one else understood it except I'll understand. It. You know, you, you're ready to take that plunge. Add Men in Black. I was like, I don't know. That just sounds insane and stupid. And why are you? Are they going to become Men in Black? I guess that's the only way that they could, you know, yes. force them oh, to become yeah. the Men in Black, have the new uh, got mm -hmm. the new agents, Agent K, Agent J, Agent yeah. L, whatever they're, whatever letter they are, you can slowly introduce a new team of men in black mm -hmm. to spin off, but make these guys the new, you know, they're like, they're the uh, Will Smiths, mm -hmm. both of them, Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill. I mean, that makes sense, or however they're gonna do it, as long as they keep the humor. I mean, Men in Black is funny, but not like funny, like 21 or 22 Jump Street funny, so, right. I would like to, they gotta bring Ice Cube back. I, I wanna see everybody who's from the first two movies back in this movie, and then I don't really care about anybody from Men in Black, because to me, that's done. So if they're gonna reboot Men in Black, they have to completely re do a, a soft reboot within this franchise. I'd like it to not even be called like Men in Black. I, I hope it's 23 Jump Street, then under you know something like they're fighting aliens or something you know something like not totally like meets men in black that's just goofy and stupid like you can have men in black in there and make it a a prequel like little slido with like a soft pilot instep to the men in black movie you know i'm i buy it i mean dude that? you you pitched a lot <laughs> of that. programs you pitched a lot of crossovers I mean, just seriously. now i just want to see the episode of dallas where they shoot mr furley that's the one that i'm really hoping to check out look we have to look at it's very rare when you get a franchise they can do whatever it wants and retcon itself and the fans are going to be okay with it but that's what you get with the jump streets it's like if this movie's terrible the first trailer for 24 jump street all it's going to say is hey we screwed up so <laughs> we're back and we're back on you know south beach or whatever just solving crimes with ice cube that's all you need to do men in black if this movie's great that's awesome if the movie sucks it's just as dead as it was after men in black 3 we're not going to put roke on the spot and make him defend why he loved men in black 3 so, so many much. reasons i'm so just going to ask you i'm going to put the venom question to you real no. quick our audience is going to want to line up to see because they've loved the first two 21 jump streets mm -hmm. are they going to love that going into a men in black universe i think the, in this case i think as i mentioned earlier i think it's all about the casting for who they're going to bring in men in black i mean in my mind already because it's default you jump to michael b jordan mm. certainly a possibility he hasn't done a lot of comedy it might be fun he certainly could do action so it's like okay can we play with that possibility and redeem him from fantastic four certainly you could put him in there are they going to go back in time are there going to be new agents right. i would love immediately my mind was like well great if they if the 21 guys become the men in black guys yeah. they could be agent s m that's hilarious to me Bam. so i mean like there's there's stuff you can play with so i'm gonna line up but it all depends on the casting and i think a lot of people feel i'm just way. glad this question tortured you guys as much as it did yeah. me <laughs> honeymoon <laughs> honeymooners star trek on um, brand new mashup <laughs> fantasy island and tj hooker let's bring them together <laughs> the police the car, car, the car. <laughs>